So it could look like that too. See how it's a nice 45 in between. So if you have any pinching in the front of your left hip, don't go up to 90, just go to here. And now let's put you back. But you can see when she gets this feedback here, the whole idea is I don't want her to move her left hip really. It just kind of stays there and we move our right. So the other way to fix that is we're gonna put our burrito, our rolled up towel under here that is between her pelvis and under her rib cage, meaning, or sorry, above her pelvis, under her rib cage. So it's in between that stuff where she's not able to really crush it, which would mean that she would hike her right hip up. So her right hip has to stay down in order for her not to crush the burrito. Also important is that I like how she's got the reach here. The left arm can be wherever you want, okay? And we also have, this hip is just slightly rolled forward and that will make such a big difference that little bit. Now what I want you to do is pull the outside of your foot towards the outside of your knee. So she's gonna kind of roll her foot like this. So that, good. And now try to lift this hip as high as you can. Good, right there, good. So the whole time you're trying to evert, yeah, even better, there you go. So think about pulling your pinky toe towards the outside of your foot. Good, I like that little smile, that's a good one. Okay, keep holding right there, roll this forward, roll this forward, don't lose that, good, no, yeah, get it back, there they go. And you're just gonna hold this as high as you guys can. We're gonna do 30 seconds. What I want you to think about is, my butt is gonna explode. That would be the ideal thing that I want here, is for anything in the backside of this hip to really be kind of exploding. You should feel very tempted to crush our burrito, but it's like really good guacamole. We got some good Miami stuff in there, so let's not, not do that. Let's be able to eat it afterwards. 15 seconds left. I also want you to keep doing the foot thing, so you're everting and pulling the outside of your foot to the outside of your knee. The opposite of rolling out your ankle, basically. And now I want you to also try to get closer to the wall. So go towards the wall and up to the ceiling. And that should be the last little cherry on top that gets it to go whoop and really get into that muscle. Three, two, one. Keep everything the same, but slowly drop to the ground. Good. 